Psychologists seem to have converged on the view that creativity requires two, meeting two constraints. The first one is that it has to be new or original, and the second one is that it has to fulfill the criterion of being useful or aesthetically pleasing or meeting some kind of human need. It's interesting to talk about artistic creativity by comparing it to scientific creativity. The scientific questions tend to deal with uncertainties about our generally accepted social understanding of the world. Whereas artistic creativity tends to draw more on that aspect of our worldview that is more unique to the individual. So for example, if your father dies, you might, if you're a musician, you might be inspired to write a song about that experience to resolve some of the feelings, some of the thoughts, some of the ideas that you're going through at that time. Or if you fall in love, you might write a love song because these experiences and these feelings that you're having are just so vibrant that you want to work them through and you want to share them and you're moved to express them in some way. But these are unique to you. So every love affair, of course, we all fall in love so we can relate to a love song, but every love affair has a different feeling associated with it. And so the love song that you're going to write is going to be more specific to uh, something that you're going through that doesn't necessarily um, have a lot in common with what other people are going through in terms of the specifics, in terms of the details, in terms of what you actually want to express. Um, it turns out that around 60,000, 100,000 years ago, there was another what's been called by Stephen Mithen the Big Bang of human creativity. So here you see the beginnings of art, you see the beginnings of science, you see the beginnings of human religion. So people started burying their dead with ornaments in the, um, in the grave, which is a sign of ritualized religion. And there you see um, different kinds of uh, tools that have engravings on, the, on them. So you're mixing a function which is a technological function with an artistic impulse. And uh, you also see um, jewelry, so person, personal ornamentation on the body. Um, and you see uh, the beginnings of musical instrumentation, so lots of signs that human creativity was just bursting right around this time. After a period of about 1.5 million years of stasis, so not that much change. For me, creativity is really is really something very spiritual, and it's just a flow. It's a language, and I am lucky enough to be able to do it through journalism, through acting, and through music. And so, you might see for yourself that over the course of the day, you engage in different modes of thought depending on the situation that you're in. It's conducive to putting together ideas that you may not have necessarily ever seen before how they go together, why they go together, but in this particular circumstance they do go together and they feel just right. And so for example if you're an artist you may put different colors together and 
You've never used these colors side by side. You never thought they would ever look good together, but they perfectly express what you're trying to convey in this particular painting at this particular moment. And so this associative mode of thought can be really useful when you're stuck in a rut, when you have a problem to solve, when you're creatively challenged, when you have pent up emotions that you want to express. I think that with all of the, uh, the down situations I've been put into over the past uh, year, I've uh, I found a way to really um, express myself more um, because of them. Um, so there are a lot of negatives, but uh, in, in the end, it really ends up being a positive, positive reinforcement because it, it helps me be more creative through my art and uh, really, I really feed off those situations. Ooh, ever since I left, I feel like I got the sick of feeling in my chest that I got that very treasure in it, searching for my ex. Always acting first, never worrying about what's next, never worrying about the rest, always sending fucking checks. I'm over in the morning and I'm always fucking stressed. Then I think I'm fucking up, so I'm drinking fucking less, picking up my life, so I'm not a fucking mess. Uh. Some artists are comfortable with a blank canvas. That's what they like, they want a fresh beginning. And they're totally inspired by that. But many creative individuals, they want to take somebody else's little mark and adapt it to their own needs, express it in their own way, modify it in some way. And if you have other people, they can also go, hey, that looks good, but hey, what if you try this? And then it yeah. can evolve from there and so become even better. different creativity coming together, I, that's what I love about group cosplay. And like couple cosplays, cosplays because someone has one idea but then someone has another idea and it becomes something entirely different. Let's get this action shot right here. <laughs> As you can see this walking. <laughs> Everything that's worth doing is worth practicing and creativity like I said to me is just being fearless and just letting all your colors shine each or whichever way you wish, right? Whether it's through music, through painting, through broadcasting, through creative writing, or there's multiple ways, right? That's what makes it so diverse. Children are creative in a different way from adults. So they've not yet assimilated what works and what doesn't work, um, what is socially acceptable and what's not socially acceptable. They've assimilated this to some degree, but not to the degree that adults have. So the constraints are wide open. The doors are wide open to explore possibilities, to just move your body in different ways, to say things that come to your mind without really thinking about what the consequences will be. Um, it's never ending. It's, it's never enough. Yeah, as a business person um, and as a creative person, you wake up every morning and you're like, I have this crazy idea. You have coffee across the street and you're like, wait a second, I have this crazy idea. And as a crazy uh, creative person who's also into business, like I mean, I don't just like think about it. I don't just like toy around with the idea. I try to experiment with it and see how it will actually be like in real life. Yo, Timothy Ross, get it up! Yo. Ah. Alright. Woo! Ready for some dope shit? Yo, yo. If I have a wish, I wish that we was tethered up. We cyclone shipping on when John Bones bit us. Okay, it's a piece of the pie, don't think the whole man. Don't you keep in a mind a reason to find we hold pain deep in the core. My demons is even before. I haven't slept in like a week, maybe more. Put yourself in my shoes, size 11. See glimpses of heaven, I ain't a reven. But I'll preach this every hour, every minute, every second. Devour and diminish every weapon. Confession, I know what I'm getting. Most of y'all act like such assholes. I know where you're hitting.